you know something? During sex, I like to think about putting an entire peanut butter and jelly sandwich into the VCR. Fact stated. Hello guys and gals. It's me, William Clark here. I've been waiting to show that image for so long. We're gonna keep on doing some Helltown stuff. Welcome back to some uh, Helltown stuff, I guess. Okay, so we're in Ohio, obviously, because... Okay, why do none of these places ever talk about me? Weird Ohio? Where's Weird Ohio? Um, Weird Ohio, over here. Why don't they talk about me? I am the weirdest thing in Ohio. I'm the weirdest thing ever invented. I'm weirder than French toast on eggs. I'm weirder than a vagina in the soup. Just don't. Just don't think that. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick this. Alright. Uh huh, so we'll do three more. Uh, actually, depending on how big they are, I'm gonna show you. Let's be two more parts to this shit. So now you guys and gals will know about Helltown, Ohio. Ah, there's the ever so popular Crybaby Bridge. I remember that one. Alright, weird US. Alright. Your travel guide to America's local legends and best kept secrets. What is Weird US? Your tour guides. Disclaimer. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Welcome to Helltown. Thank you. Even though I yet to go to Helltown. I want to go there. Man, I don't have any money so I can't drive. Oh my. Mutant towns and mutant towns. Ooh. Nice mutant town. So you have mutants. Good to know. Now I know I really want to go there. Call me crazy. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Though. I have got lyrics for. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> hey, I just met you. And this is crazy! But here's my number. So call me, maybe. It's hard to look right at you, baby. But here's my number. Lick Fluttershy. Whatever. Oh my. Hailtown goes on forever! Oh my god! So we're down at the bottom of the testicle. Oh my. Yeah, you're blowing stuff in your mind. Let's just go to Weird Ohio. You should still never talk about me. Damn bastards never talk about me. I'm the weirdest thing in Ohio. How do these people not know me? Oh, I'm not that popular. I'm still weird. When discussing this subject of being in places in Ohio, usually that isn't long before a topic of conversation. Turns to a place called Helltown. What can you say about a place called Helltown? What the guy in the commercial says, the name like that, it has to be good, right? Well, honestly, it's hard to say. Helltown, well, one of the one of Ohio's most famous horror and supernatural legends, is also one of the most confusing. It's a good example of the way folklore can easily get can get really complicated and convoluted. There's a single haunted farmhouse here. No headless drinking doctor or ghostly children running around in the woods. Well, there should be. Helltown is home to six or seven separate legends. 
each with dozens of variations in its own right. All of which has led this area in Boston Township to group as one haunted site and given an evil sounding name. It is, right? It's a dark for foreboding place. Ghosts, cults, and even a suit. Okay. Ah oh, man, I don't have a guy pony. I had to say cults and show up under the cult. Okay, I yeah, probably don't have any pictures. Never mind. I'm not gonna. Um, maybe that serial killer was at the work. People will tell you the entire town was cursed. Warning that it was dangerous to be in the area after dark. Needless to say, we were intrigued and wanted to learn more. In the summer of 2001, we made our first visit to the area known as Helltown. You may be surprised at what we found. Helltown is a nickname given to the northern part of Summit County. Areas most often associated with the Helltown legends are Boston Township and Boston Village as well as portions of Sagamore Hills and Northfield Center Townships. Most of the legends, all these are areas are combined into one large region, which is referred to as the Boston Mills. Alright, so all of this area is one area. Not two, not three, not over 9,000. One. Uh, we'll take a look at that later. Uh, first settled in 1806. Okay, so this is when it was created. Boston stands as the oldest village in Summit County. First mill was built in the village in the early 1820s. Several years later, the destruction of the Ohio and Erie Canal brought more people to Boston, and over the next few decades, mills began to flourish in the area. Most notably, a paper mill. When a railroad station was constructed in a town in the early 1880s. The station was named Boston Mills, in reference to the paper mill, and the, and the name had stuck. Over the years, a little chase a small town, however, in, in the late 1960s, the nationwide movement began, began to express concern over the destruction of our forests. In 1974, in an effort to save the forest, President Gerald, Gerald Ford signed legislation that enabled National Park Services to purchase land and use it to create national parks. As a result, on December 27, 1974, hundreds of acres, including land within the township Boston, were officially designed or designated National Recreation Area. What many people did not realize until it was too late was that the legislation had a darker aspect to it. It gave the federal government jurisdiction jurisdiction to buy houses and land right out from under the current owners in order to clear the way for the National Park almost immediately after the bill was passed. Oh god, blurry eyes again. Ah, oh, hate it when this shit happens. Uh, the government began acquiring houses through Boston Township and the surrounding area. Once the government had decided to buy a property, there was no negotiation involved. The owners were forced to relocate. Well, that's gotta suck. After Christmas, two days after Christmas, settle down, play with your toys, you know, whatever. Whatever it may be. And then two days later, you have to relocate. What if you had no cars? I mean, not everyone had a car back then. So, basically, you were forced to relocate and probably walk wherever, being one of those deranged tigers you hear about on here. In what can only be described as a mass evacuation, residents began leaving in droves, and entire townships began to be swallowed up by the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. These events were so tragic that they are now, that they were featured in a 1983 PBS documentary, Good of all. Perhaps the general feelings of the displaced homeowners were best summed up in a statement found scrawled across the wall of a, of a vacated home. Now we know how the Indians felt. Exactly. Being forced to relocate sucks. I mean, if they took this house, I'm gonna kill someone. Uh, well, I know where to live, probably either Dayton or go to Alberta, Georgia, and live with Erica, but one of those two, I'm living with Erica. 
Yeah, I could live with my Uncle James, which is in Dayton, Ohio, but... Eh, I prefer to live to my girlfriend. Because she's my girlfriend. Yeah. My girlfriend. Yes, you. Erica. Erica Fortson. It, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, good lord, yes. Yes. I said I want to move in with you. I, I want you to move in with me. I want to be with you. Yes. Yes. We know. We, no, I'm not a potato. Oh, good lord. But anyways. Once a house was bought by the government, the owners left. It was boarded up and covered with U.S. issued no trespassing signs. Then it would sit vacant until the government could arrange for it to be torn down. In some cases, houses were intentionally burned to serve as training exercises for local fire departments. Oh my. Well, that's gotta suck. Not only would you be able to lose your house, but you'll have to be burned down too. Bastards! Our government fucking sucks. That's what. I'm not getting. Hundreds of homes being purchased in such a short period of time. The government quickly fell behind. It was not uncommon to drive down a street and find several boarded up houses sitting next to the burned down and remains of other ones. With trespassing, the motorists are unaware of the events taking place in the area. It is the scene as if the entire town had disappeared in the thin air. Yeah, I know I'm talking fast. Mutant Town! Legend of Helltown. Uh, Mutant Town and Mutane Town are two alternate names for the Helltown area. Research on the story that led us to conclude that the area was first called Mutant Town. Well, what if you were a fucking mutant? What if you were a zombie in the area? Okay, going back to when I talked about, I believe it was the first part, the first part, one of those, either first, second. I mentioned something about zombies in the area. In House of the Dead Overkill, people call the zombies mutants. So basically, zombies are mutants. So that only backs up the theory that there's zombies in Helltown. When the federal government bought up the land in 1974 to create the Cuyahoga Valley National Recreation Area, they bored up. We get that, we get that, we get it, blah, blah, blah. Blah 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 because there had been a chemical dump in the area, so naturally everyone assumed that there were slime mutants wandering around murdering people. Fucking zombies, you idiots! There's zombies in the area. Now I definitely wanna go to Helltown. If there's zombies in the area, I'm going. I'm going. I'm gone. I'm going. Mutant Town seems to be a simple misspelling of Mutant Town. Although some people will assure you that there had been a butane plant in the area. Which somehow led to this name. Unfortunately, that's not true. Neither is it true that there was a chemical spill in Boston Township. Shit. The only chance for a zombie apocalypse, and they lie. Satanic Church, I already told you about this one, but let's talk more about it. This one goes along with the allegations of Satan worshiping made within the entire town. We've been told that all the people in the area worship the devil. And that there are animal mutilations and satanic symbols all over the place. And I mean all over. Women have this the Satan thing, the satanic ritual symbol on their chest and kids have it on their forehead men they have it on their genitals so their penis worships the devil oh shit I repeat the penis worships the devil yeah alright that's enough allegations of that shit so let's go. Let's go. All of which leads to the church, which is called the Mother of Sorrows in the real world. 
Supposedly black masses are conducted here. And they are supposed supposed to be an upside down crosses all over the building. It turns out the upside down cross shape is just a feature of gothic revival architecture. Nice. You have to think they could have been a little more careful when they were building the place. Yeah. Cemetery. I told you about this a bit. Uh, there are lots of ghost stories that emanate from this scary cemetery, which is said to be terrifying, and the home of a ghost who sits on a bench and stares out into space. From what I hear, though, there's no bench, and the cemetery is pretty ordinary. Lately, a Boston locals have been installed floodlights and patrol the graveyard regularly. So, if you're to visit at night, be careful. Yeah. School bus. Isn't this the one with the house and the hearse? Yeah. Apparently they're all, um... Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Ah, well, the story has some creepy elements, blah, 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 on a school bus with all the season movies. said to sit at the edge of the woods in Helltown. Well, you have it that the kids it was hauling on this last trip were killed by a crazy killer or a bunch of crazy killers. They say sometimes you can see either the kids or their killer killers inside. If it's a single killer, he sits in the back smoking a cigarette. Okay. Maybe it's a ghost. I hope. Then you gotta get on your proton pack or vacuum cleaner and suck it up. However, the truth is unfortunate. Unfortunately, much more mundane. A guy who was repairing his home lived in the old bus. His family until they could move to the house. The bus has since been towed away. Okay. We'll just go with that. The end of the world. Yes, it is the end of the world, and I don't feel fine. <laughs> yeah, Max Payne reference there. There's a steep uh, winding road with sudden stop. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, all this is just talking about stuff we've already heard. Except the slaughterhouse. Uh, the slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse not far from the cemetery or so it said. Researchers report that it's just part of an old barn. Over time it acquired a reputation as a haunted slaughterhouse where you would see faces if you looked through the windows at night. Holy vagina acorns! If that's the case... Definitely! I mean, who wouldn't go to Helltown now? I mean, Helltown, Ohio is like sticking your penis inside of a mushroom while being haunted by capitalist burgers. I mean, it's awesome. I want to go there. Only problem, I don't know where it's at and I don't have any goddamn money. If I had money, I would go and I would know where it's at. Because there's GPS's. And GPS's I don't know. They're, they're just GPS's. And that, and that dog... And that dog's being a goat. She's a goddamn cow. She is a cow! She is a vagina on speed. So, whatever. <coughs> well, it's true! Okay, so let's look at more health house stuff. The devil. Oh! Surprisingly, for an area known as Health Town, the devil doesn't seem to show up often. Well, that's unfortunate. Damn Satan, always fucking not showing up when he should. The place is called Health Town, and Satan rules hell. So if you think about it. If you think about sticking your dick in a moose, there you go. Satan is like sticking your dick in a moose. It's not pleasant. Ah, well. Black masses and mutilated farm animals and good Jesus. You need spiritual guidance. Travel into the end of the world to see Helltown. Oh my. This guy. Talks about, talks about shit, and yeah, and this guy just talks about 
Yeah, his experiences with Helltown and yeah, who wouldn't? Yeah, Helltown. Oh, Weird Ohio. I heard about that one. The world's giant, world's largest picnic basket. Well, guys and gals, that was it. I'll see you guys and gals later. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part. The final part to this four-part Helltown madness. And I hope that one of these days, yeah, I could actually go there. This place sounds interesting. I mean, come on. My nipples knows all. <laughs>